Now I want to talk about backing up throws. Corner fielders, left fielders and right fielders, particularly on pickoff plays to third base or first base, need to be careful about the angle they take to back up that throw. If I'm standing out here in left field and I see that there's a pickoff play, I'm probably going to edge that way before the pitch ever takes place. Okay, I see that that's coming. Now, from this position, if I go to back up third base on a straightforward angle, straight to the line there, it puts me at a greater distance from the play. So if there is an overthrow, it'll take me longer to get the ball and I'll have a longer throw. But when I see that play being called and I've inched over, when it's in process, if I take an angle up this way towards the line for the backup, now I'm closer to the play, I can obtain control of the ball sooner and get rid of it, have a shorter throw to home plate in case of the overthrow. Same thing is going to occur, occur at right field, only in that instance, um, you'll be going obviously to the left and making the play back towards second base. And that's just a little thing that you can help show your athletes that will make them a little bit better. Speaking of angles, we also have backup angles. And we're using the um, players on the right as our center fielders, so they have jurisdiction over the others. If they call them, everybody backs away. Now I want you to look at the backup angle that the backup person is taking. Didn't have time on that one. That was a good angle taken by the player that made the catch. Roll a soft one inch. Another soft one. There, even though it appeared to be going towards that left fielder, center fielder has jurisdiction. Okay, a couple of high uh, fly balls. Angles of backup. Good backup positioning there. Good calling. Good backup there.